Right, so we've had the update 1.5, which has raised the palette limit for everybody. But if you're on Xbox One like me, that's only gone up to 75. Now, with some of the greenhouses banging out palettes quicker than you can actually get round to moving them, that's a bit of an issue still. So, I'm going to show you two ways of how to never worry about palettes again. First off, you need to level your whole field out. Well, not your whole field, just the area that you're going to be using. So I've done that already. Second thing is you're going to need to place down your production chain. So we'll go into the construction menu and we'll get a production. And we're going to go for the grain mill because that's the easiest one to demonstrate this on. So we're going to place it down. Obviously, you know your field's flat when the base price stays the same. So that's 96 grand to buy and it's not moving on the price at all. So you know the ground's flat underneath it job done so we'll place one down there and we'll place another one down there now the two options you've got now if you come on to productions and selling points you can sell them directly we're using a little sell point like that now the thing with this is the selling can be up and down throughout the year obviously but for this situation we're going to use the fixed crop prices by disturb simulation so the price is going to be the same all the way through so no problem with that so what you'll do just grab your sale point like i have it can be as inconspicuous as the one i've gone for or you can go for something a bit bigger you know a little market stall as long as it takes that production that's what you want to go for so we're going to place this one down right there so you want to get that blue icon just where the pallet's going to spawn obviously we're going to toggle free mode on like that place it down jobs are good in now the second version is we're going to store the pallets so obviously you know you may want to keep them and use them a bit later if you're not playing with the fixed crop prices on so we go to this mod by omatana the pallet storage you pick whichever one you want we're going to go for the smallest one just so you can see it better again just load in load it over there where the pallet's going to spawn toggle free mode off set it down jobs are good in and that's all you need to do so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put this trailer of wheat through the first grain mill and we'll speed up time and you'll see the pallet spawn and then automatically get taken into the warehouse silo whatever you want to call it shed we'll call it a shed i mean it looks like a little garage there doesn't it so we'll load all that in there Right, so I just realised that that first trailer only had 6,000 litres in. So I've gone and got the other one from 82 Studio, 82,000. That's better. So obviously that's not going to do a lot at all. So we'll load that in there like that. That's better, 82,000. I'm going to get some decent pallets off of that. Obviously 6,000 is going to make probably one. That's about it. Right, so that's all in. We reverse out the way. Right, so turn that off. We'll go into the production chain. There you are. So wheat flour, turn it on. Okay, so that's now running. So we'll go into the other menu and speed up time. So this is going to go through its whole process. And then obviously once the pallet spawns, and bear in mind I've got the large capacity pallet mod on as well, so it's going to spawn at 5,000 litres. That does give a bit of a difference when you're actually going to keep the pallets as well because that then lowers it as well you know a normal pallets got a thousand litres of flour in particular that's going to drop it by like 70 80 percent because it's got five pallets worth in one which is ace obviously this will work with the normal pallets you don't have to have that one on if you don't want to entirely up to you so we'll let that run through until it spawns a pallet Right, so it's coming up on the 5,000 mark there, so it's going to spawn now, there you are, and straight in. You come over to the shed, warehouse, silo, whatever you want to call it, there you are, flower, 5,000 litres. And what you can do, if you've got an auto load trailer as well, like that one over there, or any of them that work the same, you can then fill it up, come over here, load it up, and it will load into there, no problem, without you having to actually load the pallet on. But because I've got the 5,000 pallet made and gone into the shed, 
it then goes onto the trailer as a 5,000 pallet and then when you unload it, it's a 5,000 pallet again. That's brilliant. We fast forwarded to the next day. So we're going to do exactly the same on the cell points. We'll load 82,000 in again. Get some pallets out of this one. So this is going to be the direct sell. So obviously if you can sell directly from your production chains anyway. But obviously that costs you. This way doesn't cost you anything. It's ace. Especially if you've got that fixed crop prices mod on as well. You get the same price all year round. So we'll jump out of there. Turn that on. Like that. So that's now running. Again we'll turn the speed up wait for it to spawn a pallet the 5000 obviously it does work with the 1000 pallets you haven't got to have the large capacity pallets on so we'll let that run through right so we're going to be coming up to that 5000 mark in a second and it'll spawn there and then sell straight off there you are job done we even got 10 grand, 10,400. We'll turn the speed down. 10,400 for a 5,000 litre pallet of wheat, uh, flour. That's ace. Oh, absolutely brilliant. And then we'll go back onto our trailer and I'll show you what I mean by having the 5,000 litre pallets added. So we've got that 5,000 litre pallet into our shed, garage, whatever you want to call it. And you've come over with an auto load trailer. All of them work the same. You know, you just pull up onto the icons. So we're pulling here like that. And on this particular one, if you do R, L, B, and A, turn on auto load, then get the option there, start filling, left stick in. So you scroll along to find the flower. So that then loads in. Why did not loaded 5,000 in? That's rather strange. Stop filling. No. That is really random. <laughs> okay. So then we'll pull it out the way. And we'll turn auto load off. We'll do R, B and Y. Drops the pallet out. There you are. 5,000 litre pallet been produced by the grain mill gone into the shed we've auto loaded it onto a trailer and then we've loaded it there 5,000 pallet and we've also sold it off and that hasn't affected any of the pallet limits at all apart from this one mind you job done <laughs> that's ace that is so much easier you know you're not gonna have a mess around with the pallet limit at all with that brilliant right so that's your pallet limit no longer needed issue sorted drop it in the comments below are you going to be using one of these methods or do you just want to load some pallets you know some people do like doing it we'll see what people are thinking if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one